Hey guys, Dave Desai. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to talk about RM's emotional VLive. There are some things that have happened. He live streamed for about two hours on VLive and he had spilled some emotional things. This almost brought me to tears seeing him and how emotional he is and the things that he wanted to say. So grab your cup of tea, grab your blankets, let's cuddle around here and let's spill some tea together. If you are new here and you're interested in this type of stuff, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and that notification bell to so be notified that anytime a new video drops. If you use a hater, like to be the first to leave your hate comment, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and that notification bell also so you can be the first to do so. Now, let's jump into it. If you haven't been aware of, BTS and many other K-pop groups have canceled their tour due to the novel coronavirus. It has spread all around the world and obviously these K-pop idols don't want to risk their lives and also risk their fans' lives by having their fans in a very crowded area. A place like that where the disease can very much spread very quickly. Most of us armies just thought that the tour cancellation is just something that affects us and maybe not necessarily them or that they wouldn't have too much of a hard time accepting that but we were wrong. It was nice to hear an update of how RM was feeling about this and what his true thoughts on the tour cancellation is. He recently went on a live stream to discuss the tour and how hard it's been on him to have the tour canceled. He really felt distressed and hard that he could not be performing in front of a live audience and this is not just in touring. This is even on TV or any live performances that he has done recently, it has not been in front of an audience. A singer does feed off of energy that is in the room, so if there's no energy there, it can be a little bit difficult performing. Arm, of course, said that during all this, he felt like he was very powerless, that he couldn't do anything. And of course, it was going to get canceled whether he wanted to or not, and whether he had a say in it or not due to his safety. And honestly, it should be because of his safety. He said over and over again that he had to keep his energy at a certain level and had to keep smiling and keep putting on a show because he didn't want armies to think that anything was wrong or that if his energy wasn't high that it would translate to the armies and the armies would feel like they're not happy either. He said one line in particular which was that everyone was having a difficult time and that at least he gets to be on air and on TV which is something he tells himself over and over again to hopes that he will feel a little bit better. And yes you should be thankful about that because that is something that is so cool that you still get to do even though all of this is going on. I am of course also talked about his rehearsals and BTS's rehearsals in general and how much work and effort they put into it and how much they want armies to see the work that they're putting into it. And believe me RM we want to see it you want to show it to us we want to say it. Arm said at times he would feel so angry and scream and yell about this and it seemed like a lot of the other members had a similar feeling to it which is nice to know that they all really care so much. This is so heartbreaking though it's heartbreaking to hear how much they care about armies and how they can't do anything to give back and to put on a show and do all that sort of thing so it's a little bit heartbreaking for me to hear. Realistically there's nothing that can be done I mean obviously he doesn't want to endanger his own life and he shouldn't be endangering other armies lives by being in a crowded place and RM admits this too he knows that there's nothing that can be done, but I'm happy that he is healthy. Arm is usually like the strong one in the group. He doesn't really cry or break down or any of that stuff too often. So it is a little heartbreaking to hear that he did because this means that there is something genuinely wrong. You have a manly man like RM who has to be in control all the time. We respect that. We love that about him. And of course, if he can't, it can be a little frustrating. Soon after, a hashtag started trending and my heart fluttered. It was apparently hashtag thank you Namjoon. Armies were feeling so sad about the situation, they had to talk about it, they had to tweet about it. It always gets me how they know which hashtag to trend. Because I feel like if I was the first person seeing the live stream, I would be like, don't be sad RM, and then tweet that, and that would be my hashtag. But then out of nowhere, everyone is suddenly under, thank you, Namjoon. <laughs> I don't know how they figure out which hashtag to trend. But let's go into the hashtags and let's read some of these uh, tweets. It really hurts my heart to see how badly not being with armies have been affecting our boys. I hope they know how much we love and appreciate everything they do for us and how we will always be by their side. <laughs> my heart literally feels the exact same way. I hope Namjoon knows how we feel about them and how we appreciate everything he says and does. The next tweet reads, Juni posted while thank you Namjoon was trending worldwide. Do you think he saw? I hope he did. I hope he knows armies are always by BTS's side no matter what. There's so much love that I can feel the love even though it's not directed to me. So let me know what you think about this whole situation. I am very curious to hear your full thoughts on this. Let me know down in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'm featuring this comment right here. Thank you so much for seeing us. And as always, I do have a Patreon if you would like to give back and contribute a little bit more to this channel. It does help me keep videos going and things like that because you know YouTube, AdSense, ain't always great. So if you would like to give back and contribute just a little bit, I do have a Patreon in the link in the description down below. You can also get exclusive content over there, such as reaction videos, live music video, performance reaction, all that sort of thing over there. And you can also request special videos that you would like me to do. I hope you go and check that out. Any little bit really does help and support. There's also two videos that will be recommended to you at the end of this video. So I hope to catch you over there. See you then.
Kaputt.